It's got the pumpkin. Stop! Stop! Sir, we got a gator headed for the door. He's got a whole pumpkin in his mouth. Hey, come back here. It's Drop gone. it. It's gone. It's in the bushes. Hey guys, it's only been a few days since Sora 2 came out and it's an absolute game changer when it comes to online content and ads. Look at this TikTok that got 72 million views in just the last two days. And copycats of this specific video are already blowing up on TikTok. This one right here already has 40,000 likes. In this video, I'm gonna give you this automation on N8N that I just built that can create prompts for you and generate Sora 2 videos on autopilot using Key AI's unofficial API that only costs 10 cents and will allow you to manage the content generation on a Google Sheet for whatever use case you want. Not only is Sora 2 good at making funny videos, it can also do great ad creatives. And I'll show you this one right here. The prompt is just make an ad for the North Face car. And I'll be playing it now. Design built where the map turns white. Designed to climb higher, cross colder, and power on when the world powers down. This is the North Face terrain concept. So that was pretty impressive. And then here we have the video that I featured in my last video, which is just SpongeBob getting arrested. Captain, keep your hands on the wheel. You almost wiped out three cars back there. Put it in park now. I'm sorry, officer. I, I just... Don't move. Doors locked. Unlock it right now. I can't get a ticket. Hey, stop. Stop the car. So when building this automation, I tested using this prompt of a realistic body cam footage, very similar to that SpongeBob clip. And I was able to produce all these results using just this automation and running it right here. And here I'll be showing you some of the results. Keep in mind that you're not always gonna get the best result on the first try, but I'm gonna be playing them right now. Down now, hands where I can see them. What did I tell you about weaving through traffic? It's a misunderstanding, officer. I only go a little fast. Don't play games with me, step out now. Hey, don't, dispatch, he just took off south. Then we have this one here with Barbie. Out of the car, now. You know how fast you were going? Put it in park. Officer, I. I can explain. Don't talk. Just turn it off. Doors locked. Unlock it right now. Please, I have Open the door. And then we have this one right here just to showcase that you can do in vertical videos as well. Get out of the car now. Open the door. You think this is a joke? License revoked. You're done. Step out. I can't. I'm sorry. Open it. Mama mia. Hey, he's running. Dispatch suspect taking off southbound. Get back. And then we have this one of Captain Crunch. Hey, you know how fast you were going back there? Swerving all over, throwing cereal like confetti? You're reckless. There's too much crunching on my road tonight. Step out of the vehicle right now. Easy there, officer. Just keeping it crunchy. Toodaloo. Hey, stop. And then this last one was Sonic. You think this is a game? 130 through a 50. Out of the car now. Relax, big guy. I was just stretching my legs. Open the door now. Nah, gotta run. Get back here. Okay, this automation is broken down into two parts. You have the creating the prompts part, and then you have the creating the videos part. On YouTube, I'm gonna be giving away this entire bottom portion of the template. You can just hit the three dots here and then import from file and you'll have this all ready to go. And if you're a member of my school community, which is currently 1.5 thousand people, we are the most technical AI video marketing community out there. And just for a little bit of an update, we've been doing live sessions and we have them recorded here. We have videos on marketing basics, image generation, video generation, all the stuff you need to master to become an absolute pro in this environment, I'll be giving away the entire template that I just built out here to everyone in the community. Currently, my school price is $25 a month or $144 a year if you do the yearly plan. These are beta prices you can lock in now. The price in the future will be going up as we add more content. The requirements to run this automation are pretty simple. For creating the prompts, you're going to need an OpenAI account. For uploading to Google Drive and the Sheets, you're going to need a Google account. And then you're also going to need an account on Key AI. You can literally load this with $5 worth of credits and then start generating using the API right here. And I'll go into details on how it works now. Okay, so the best way to show you is just to run it. So I'm going to do the create prompts right here. I'm going to hit execute workflow which is going to prompt up this Sora 2 generator form. It's gonna ask you what your prompt is. You basically need a base prompt. So a prompt that already works that you like or got on the internet. This one was the body cam footage of Mario and the police. And then you need a little thing on how you want the prompt to be changed. So in this case, I'm just gonna copy this example that I have written right here. Change Mario and the car into another theme using fictional characters. How many videos you want, we'll say four. And then the dimension. Do you want these in landscape or portrait videos? So in this case, I'm going to do landscape. We're going to be hitting submit. 
it will say that the form is submitted. Now the automation is going to be running through here. It takes about a minute and then I'll show you what the results look like. Okay, now it updated the sheet. If you go here, you'll see we have four more, more templates. The first one is going to be populated with whatever you gave it, and then it's going to give you three more. So in this case, they're pretty similar to the other ones. Uh, usually what you do is reset the sheet every time you have a new idea after you download all the files or store them. But in this case, we have a video on the Batmobile, a video on the Mystery Machine, which is Scooby-Doo, and then one on Sonic. So as you'll notice, on the first column, there's a status. Every time you create prompts, they'll be on the status to do, meaning when you run the video creator, it's going to create them. You can put this to anything else like stop if for some reason you don't like these ideas of the prompt or you don't want to spend money generating them. Once it does generate them, it will change it to done if it's successful and gives you a video or it'll go to failed if the prompt was not able to be run through Sora 2. Sora 2 has very strange guardrails where some characters are not allowed and some are, so you really just kind of have to experiment with that. Okay, and now comes the fun part. I cleaned up my sheet, I took out all the failed renders above, and then down here, instead of using the top module to create some, I manually did it myself. All you need to do is add the status of to do, make sure there's no space or anything in there, just the title, anything unique is fine. Then the prompt you want, I just typed this out really quickly, just some random idea I had based on the pre, based on the clips I showed at the beginning of the video. Then I typed in portrait here. You can either do portrait or landscape. And given that I have two rows that are to do, when I run the automation, it should generate me two videos. And based on the prompt, I don't think anything is gonna be blocked, so that's good. We're just gonna be hitting execute workflow right here. And it's basically going to be grabbing those two. And as you can see, and then one item is going to be done at a time. It's going to be sending it off to be generated. It's going to take a couple minutes here. Once that's done, it's going to go through. And as long as it's successful, it's going to download the video, upload it to Google Drive, share it, and then put it onto the sheet. And I'll show you what it looks like when it's done. Okay, it looks like the automation ran twice and successful twice. So that's great. I go back to the sheet. As you can see, we have two more URLs. So the reason why I do Google Drive, by the way, is so you can easily access it. You can copy paste it, send it to your friends. It's not gonna be deleted from anyone else's server because it's under your control. So now that we have these two results, I pop them up open here. Let's give them a watch. I think it's pretty hilarious. Hey, no, 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 what are you? Is that a fox? He's got the eggplant. Hey, <laughs> drop it, come back here. He goes right over oh the Oh my car. God, he's leaving the store. Unreal. <laughs> The commentary is funny. It looks pretty realistic. I mean, it looks a little bit AI. Let's play this one right now. Oh my, it's got okay, the pumpkin. It's hilarious. got the pumpkin. Back up, back up. I'm trying. He's walking out with it. Somebody call animal control. Hey, drop it. Hey, he's going through the doors. Oh my God, he's outside. Come back here. Okay, so there's a car inside the grocery store. So not everything is perfect, but I mean, like in terms of how funny it is with this um, alligator going through with the pumpkin, like I think it did a pretty good job. Anyways, just to show how this um, automation works, it fully works. You know, you can generate like a hundred of these with different animals by just putting in one of these prompts on the create prompt side, saying you want like 50 and it'll generate you 50 here. And then you could run them through the video for whatever concepts you like and generate everything absolutely on bulk. And now I'm really quickly gonna go through some of the nodes so you guys understand how this works. Keep in mind, this version of the template is completely free. The full version will be the full version will be available to all my school members. All you're gonna have to do is download it in the description, hit the import from file, and it should load all the nodes for you. And then all you're gonna have to do is make the modifications that I talk about now. All right, so when it comes to this create prompts thing, uh, on form submission, you're not gonna to need to change anything here because it'll just like give you the form the way you need it. For your AI agent, uh, I have everything filled out here. It should fill out for you to the same. Basically just inserting your prompt and telling it what to do and have a system message with some information there. And then up here we have this output parser to make sure that it's just giving you titles and prompts the way you want them. And then for OpenAI, we're using GPT-5. You're gonna need to connect your OpenAI account here and um, for all the more complicated stuff, make sure to watch my two hour tutorial on NADN if you get stuck anywhere. By the way, I'll have that in the description, but make sure you verify your account and all that. 
Then this thing just splits them out into different sections, which means they just get added to your Google Sheet one at a time. Speaking of Google Sheet, you're gonna need a carbon copy of this Google Sheet. So I'm gonna leave a version of this that you can just click copy and put onto your account. It's basically just gonna to need to be named Sheet 1 here, status, title, prompt, dimensions, URL. That's basically all that you need here. And then just make sure on this one, we are setting everything as to do. We're giving it the title prompt and the dimensions from what the person picked or the AI agent. And I hope this clears up everything that the create prompts section is. Now let's go down to the generate SOAR video. So this is just a click to execute, pretty simple. What we're doing here is we're just doing a Google Sheets connecting the same sheet and we're just filtering on status as to do. So it's just gonna be running through. As you can see here, we have two items and then we have loop over items. What this is basically doing is just making it so each one goes one at a time, and then this loop it goes this way, and when it's done, it just finishes the automation. Here is the main part you're gonna to need to know. This is the key AI. So I'll link you this page right here on key. You're gonna, of course gonna need an account. This is the API. I'm just scrolling down to the example here. So you're gonna to need to have your account, you're gonna to need to have the top be authorization, the bottom be bearer space your API key. You get your API key on keys dashboard basically. It's pretty simple how to find that. And then we're sending it to this model right here. This is the prompt we're giving it. We're replacing it with our prompt. And then you can say landscape, all that stuff. But everything should be set up for you here, so you're not really gonna have to change anything here. All you're gonna have to do is make sure authentication is generic credential type, header auth, key AI. And if you don't already have that, you're just gonna have to go in here, make your own one where you have authorization as your name, bearer space your API key as the value. Once you have all that, you won't really have to modify anything else in here. It will send it off to be created. Then we have this wait node right here. It's gonna wait six minutes to make sure that it's done. Okay, and then after the wait happens, you're gonna do a git video, which is basically just gonna be this URL followed by the ID that it's gonna get from the last one. Make sure that you have the same generic credential type header auth, your key AI account connected there. Then it's gonna to go to this if statement, which is gonna make sure that if it fails, so if the fail is true, which is counterintuitive, I should have probably did it the other way. It's basically just gonna log it as a failure here, and then it's gonna loop through again so that it doesn't try to download it and break. And then if this is false, meaning it did succeed, then it's gonna download the video. So it's just gonna do a git to, this is just a parsed version of the link because it's in this little value, value right here inside of an array. So we need to fix that. And then this is just gonna give you the data file, which is just gonna be the video. Then over here, we're gonna upload it to our Google Drive. So you're gonna have to make sure to connect your Google Drive. And I have a part on connecting Google Drive to your internet account in that two hour video. If you don't uh, want to do this, you can simply, if you don't wanna do this, you can simply just take this URL right here and then just log it on the sheets. So this is basically what the sheet part is doing is it's matching by title, making sure it goes to the right one. Setting your status is done so it doesn't run again and then giving you your Google Drive file. But if you wanna just paste that thing I showed you into here, and then just delete these two nodes. You don't have to do the Google Drive. It's just a little bit of a convenience thing. And then it loops through over here and then continues to do your video. So it's gonna reproduce you a video every six minutes based on these defaults. And hopefully that makes sense. I'm rushing to get this video out because it's Friday and it took me longer than I expected. I hope you guys get value. Please leave a like for me providing the template completely for free or at least the, you know the vast majority of it. And then I hope the people on my school um, are happy that they get the entire thing. I highly recommend you join the community is just going crazy this week over Sora 2. Thank you so much and I'll see you guys later.